Every day, Link travels hours and hours through Hyrule to reach his goals and save the world from the evil Calamity Ganon. However, every time you're making some real headway and are almost there, the weather will suddenly change and you're screwed. The rain will limit your ability to climb mountains, the cold will freeze you solid, and the heat will burn you alive. But why does this always happen? Is it just random and something you have to deal with? Or is someone behind all of this? Well, it's not really Hylia or even random, because there's actually a villain responsible for all of this. Now, the big difference with Breath of the Wild compared to other Zelda games is that it features a vast open world for Link to explore. This was a completely new thing in the Zelda franchise. We had never experienced a true open world after all. And so Nintendo had to build the game around this by adding a ton of things like paragliding and climbing to get past obstacles. But they also had to include barriers of sorts, such as weather effects, inhospitable environments, or strong enemies. Which can be overcome by using food, effective weapons and armor, or finding alternate routes. And the game doesn't enforce a specific order in which quests or dungeons have to be solved, with the exception of completing the starting tasks on the Great Plateau. Clearly, you have a lot of freedom in this game, which is new. And so the new weather mechanics, along with some other things, were added. Now, while most people just curse the developers and maybe the Hyrulean gods at times for ruining their adventure, there's actually someone behind the weather seen in the game. Recently I found out there's a foe in the game that's actually responsible for all of this. The Mighty Wizrobe. Because when I was doing some research, I found out that some of the extreme weather patterns within Hyrule since the Great Calamity are actually due to their influence, causing snow and blizzards to occur in areas that even border hot climate areas. And thanks to them, certain locations are caught in a state of perpetual and dangerous electric storms. We see a ton of examples of this in the entire game. Just think of the mountains close to Gerudo Desert that are covered in snow and can experience some crazy blizzard storms. And that's not even a worse one, because in Breath of the Wild we even see the Thundra Plateau, which is well known locally for the dark storm clouds surrounding it. People say a thunderstorm has been raging continuously for generations there, making it a very dangerous place to go to. However, this unusual weather is not completely unique as a similar storm rages over Kalora Lake in the Faron province. Now, unbeknownst to the locals, the weather is not natural, and both storms are implied to have been raging for at least 10,000 years. So, by the looks of it, the Wizrobes have been causing mayhem for quite some time, manipulating weather all over the place. Although we can't be sure if they played a role in this. They even used their powers to change the weather in combat, for example, making it rain fire or creating a blizzard. However, why has this been happening? Is there a reason for all of this going on in the world of Hyrule? Well, there's actually one possible explanation for all of this, since they mentioned that all of this started since Calamity Ganon. So, by the looks of it, he has been playing a role in all of this while being locked away in the castle, where apparently he can still influence the world. It seems like he has been creating and placing whiz robes all around the world to make the weather more chaotic. And another thing he has been using to make sure that plenty of them are around is the well-known Blood Moon. Now, this is an event where the moon and the sky turn red, and the dark aura that is normally seen around Calamity Ganon will be seen everywhere. And as soon as this finally happens again, all the enemies that were slain come back to harass the inhabitants once again. Now, all of this is completely possible because Calamity Ganon's power increases during this time, allowing him to do this. And using this weird power, he also brings back the whiz robes, allowing them to create more freaky weather. However, what's the use of that even? Why would Calamity Ganon do all of this? Well, when thinking about it, there are a couple of possible reasons why he would be doing this. And the first is travel. The great evil sealed in the castle is busy building power again, so he wants to limit the options of the forces of good on the outside. So making it harder for them to travel and get around the world will make rebuilding a lot more difficult as well. But that's not even all, because it also limits the Hylians in their abilities of collecting materials, creating settlements, and a whole lot more. In general, it will make the lives of anyone in Hyrule a lot harder, because getting around and actually doing things is almost impossible in some weather conditions. And the the weaker the population is, the higher the chance of Calamity Ganon winning when finally breaking out. If there is no united army of good that's well equipped, 
then they have no chance of ever taking on this evil. So this possible strategy of creating weird unpredictable weather could actually work, making even Link's life harder. Just think about it, how many times have you been busy climbing up some gigantic mountain, almost reaching the top, but then the rain comes around the corner ruining your progress? Clearly this was evil at work, and now we can finally prove it as well. However, with some areas turning into deadly traps for anyone who dares to go near them, I started to think about something. Have we seen this before? Just bear with me. Think about the older games for a second. Here we've also seen some freaky weather. So are Wizrobes and maybe even Ganondorf responsible for that as well? Well, maybe we do see the Wizrobes in a number of other games like A Link to the Past, The Wind Waker, and even the very first game. And in all these titles, we do see some extreme weather conditions. For example, the desert we see in A Link to the Past. So it's possible to be honest. However, there has never been any indication outside of these statements found in Breath of the Wild. Which means we can be certain that they at least played a role in the weather conditions and climate scene in that game. But personally, I think they started to manipulate the world at some point. However, I have no idea when this started, because in the older games we do see them use some elemental attacks here and there, like in The Wind Waker, however, it's not the same as in Breath of the Wild, so it's unlikely that they had weather changing powers in those games, but maybe they were still able to influence the world in other ways? They are really strange creatures after all that we don't know a whole lot about, so we wouldn't be able to tell. Personally, I think the magic rods play a big role in all of this. When you read the description of some of them, you will understand why. For example, the Meteor Rod mentions the following. A magical rod that can cast three fireballs at once, crafted by an ancient magician, and will break upon running out of magical energy. So make it last. Clearly these things have quite special powers, which we even see with the elemental weapons, who can also do some crazy things. So personally, I think these played a big role in giving the Wizrobe the ability to alter the weather in a ton of ways. And sadly enough, we have no idea who gave them these rods, or how they got their hands on it. Maybe they made them at some point. Although I think only the older and more wise ones that had a high enough skill level would be able to do so. But that's only an option, and we can't confirm anything. Heck, we don't even know where the elemental blade really came from. For example, when reading the description of the Thunderblade, it says the following. A magical sword forged and refined by lightning from the Hyrule Hills. And when the blade shines with a golden light, it will electrocute enemies struck by it. So it mentions where and sort of how it was made, but not who made them. The only people I could come up with is maybe Calamity Ganon or the ancient Sheikah. However, we can't be certain about that. But is there a way we can actually solve this problem? A solution for these freaky weather conditions terrorizing the lands of Hyrule. Well, before we get into that, I want to mention something quick. We have way more videos like this on the channel, like the one on the story of the new Breath of the Wild sequel. Check it out in the upper right corner to get it with the playlist of theories found there. However, back to the topic. What could stop all of this from happening in Hyrule? Well, I have a couple of ideas to solve this. The first solution is to stop the Blood Moons from happening, and then taking out all the Wizrobes found in the entire world. Making sure none of them are left to manipulate the weather, making the living conditions in Hyrule a lot better. And to be honest, this would 100% work. It's the most extreme solution, but it is effective, since there aren't any left of them to do anything. But this would require you to beat all of them and also to stop the Blood Moon, which can only be done by taking out Calamity Ganon. All of this would be extremely hard to pull off for Link, or even any other person seen in Hyrule. Heck, even a big group would struggle. So could there be another way to solve this that wouldn't require so much effort? Well yes, to an extent. But it wouldn't be as effective, I think. One thing I could think of is fighting it by using one of these rods to counteract the effects of the Wizrobe spells. Or some sort of other magical omen that can ward off the insane weather, created by these cloaked figures. But this would most likely require one of the magic rods and someone who's trained in the way of advanced magic. And sadly enough, people like those are quite rare to find. The only person that might be able to help is Impa, since she is quite powerful. But would she even do something like this? And what would it all cost? Well, we don't know. Making it an option, but it's most likely not gonna work out. However, there's an alternative to this magic. The mighty ancient Shika technology. Something with tremendous power that could be used for a number of applications. 
this stuff is seen a ton around the world and there are even a couple of labs throughout Hyrule where they research and build new stuff using this technology. Maybe they could make something using this to stop the whiz robes. Also, before we all forget, check the upper right corner to find more Zelda theories and even an entire playlist of them. So go check it out, because when it comes to this video, I have one last thing to say. While the rain in Breath of the Wild can be a pain, there is only one person to blame, the Wizrobe. And maybe one day we could get rid of all of them, or it will never happen and the freaky weather is here to stay. Hey you there, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check those videos in the upper right corner and on the screen right now. Also subscribe and click the bell button, then you won't miss anything. Also leave a like and a comment, do all these things, please. YouTube algorithm, help.